everyone who was in hip hop was familiar with like your beef with Jay-Z, but how you'll still text him saying, you know, this isn't over, right? <laughs> Well, when I, I, I released the, tr the track list for the album the other day, he released a picture with all his Grammys. <laughs> you don't really get at me, or you don't get at somebody on that level. If I was to get at somebody on that level, I gotta make sure I come with the best, my best. What to do, Rizzle fam? It looks like Nas is going out on Jay-Z yet again. Nas recently dropped his new album, and he's been at the center of attention ever since. People are digging his new stuff as much as they did the old. And speaking of old, it seems like the old beef that Nas had with Jay-Z is not really over. So did Nas diss Jay again? And what did he really say that has his fans riled up again with this infamous beef? Even though Nas doesn't have the habit of doing interviews very often, interestingly enough, he agreed to meet with Trevor Noah on The Daily Show and the two talked for a bit. The interviewer briefly mentioned the famous beef that Nas and Jay-Z had back in the day and how that beef sparked an entire rivalry that did in fact go down in history as one of the craziest beefs that we've had in hip hop since we know of the genre. The clash between Jigga and Nas came up in the conversation because of the lyrics in one of Nas's new songs. See, Nas released his 15th studio album on the 11th of November and the project is titled King's Disease 3. Nas has made an album in collaboration with legendary producer Hip Boy and this is the third installment of the King's Disease series that they did together. The first two were hella successful, and this one is no different. In one of the more popular songs on this joint, track called Thun, Nas mentioned his beef with Jay-Z. Halfway in the lengthy verse on this one, Nas raps, no beef for rivals, they play an ether on title. Brothers can do anything when they decide to, in a Range Rover, dissecting bars from Takeover. Sometimes I text Hova like, this ain't over, laughing. The idea behind this track, or rather these few bars, to be precise is to point to the fact that a once heated beef can and should ultimately lead to a handshake and mutual benefit of the two people involved. Nas knows that the beef with past rivals is now over. Moreover, his famous Jay-Z diss track, Ether, is now played on Jay Z's title. This just goes to show how far squash and beef can go if people who are really involved are able to put their differences aside. But then again, in the interview, he kind of hints at something that a lot of people found interesting. Looks like things ain't so chill as he wants us to believe. Take a look at this. When I, I, I released the, tr the track list for the album the other day, he released a picture with all his Grammys. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him. And that is correct. A photo of Jay-Z with all the Grammy awards he won did pop up on the same day when Nas released the list of tracks, and that is no coincidence whatsoever. Now, even though the two are no longer on fighting terms from the era of Ether and Takeover, you can clearly see that the two are still competing and still trying to steal each other's spotlight. This is not the first nor is the last time that Jay-Z decided to post something like that or release some of his own music at the same time that one of his rivals is doing it. Whether it's 50 Cent, Nas, or anyone else, else, Jay-Z is always there to tackle, sometimes even through his artists, not necessarily his own persona. Jay-Z has always been a vicious competitor, and this time around, he's just staying true to who he is as a person. He just want to let Nas know that he's still here and he's still lurking. The never-ending battle between the two has always been a tight one. People like to say that Jay-Z won the money battle and that Nas took the throne when it comes to lyrics. Some of their hardcore fans would agree with such a statement, while others wouldn't. Some say that Ether is still the hardest diss track to have made its way into the world of hip-hop. Ether, the stuff that makes your soul burn slow. Nas called it, Jay hasn't been the same guy. Doesn't matter how much money or monetary stuff he has, he does not have the W. That is cemented in hip-hop history, and Jay knows it. Ether is the best diss track in hip-hop ever till this day. Nas the coolest thing we got to Big L. But who's your pick between Jay and Nas? Who got the better lyrics and storytelling? Let us know what you think all about in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to check this next one out. Hit that like and subscribe button to our channel. And as always, remember to keep it real.